So you finally got a grasp on Bitcoin and now it's time to understand the Lightning Network. You may have seen it on social media, people getting it for tips, people accepting it to stream music, podcasts, even businesses and people who accept it in person. You know it's all related to Bitcoin, but what exactly is the Lightning Network and how do you properly use it? My name's Darren, I help the everyday guy like you and me understand and use Bitcoin on a daily basis. We're gonna cover what the Lightning Network is, the limitations of Bitcoin that have led to the Lightning Network, the basics on how it works, easiest way you can join and use Lightning today. And at the end, I'll point you to some tools that can make it all super easy for you. The Lightning Network is layer two of Bitcoin. So to give you an example, let's just say cash is layer one. In order to send your $100 bill to buy something online from let's say somebody across the country, you'd have to mail them the bill, they'd have to verify you get it, then they would send you your product, you in the middle would have no idea what's happening. And it would just take too long and there's no way we could run an economy like that. So what we do is create a separate layers on top of money. This would be something like a e-transfer, ACH, maybe even like a debit card payment to move money and, and make commerce a lot easier across the world. And this is all complicated bills on the back end of a bunch of checks and balances of IOUs and big businesses running in the background. All the consumer and receiver need is they know then can trust that it's going to work. It's no secret that Bitcoin has its limitations when it comes to transactions. It takes 10 minutes at minimum for your transaction to confirm on the network in that specific block of the ledger that has a limited amount of space. In the future, if billions of transactions were happening on Bitcoin, it would just not be possible to wait days and even months for your transactions to confirm. Even today, if you're buying a coffee at a coffee shop and you go spend Bitcoin, you would have to wait and sit there 10 minutes for it to confirm. And that's just not realistic for a lot of commerce we do today. So what we need is a layer two that's built on top of Bitcoin that can provide instant transactions with low fees. And this is called the Lightning Network. Essentially, you as a Bitcoin holder put up Bitcoin and create lightning channels with another individual. The Bitcoin is passed back and forth between the two of you like a ledger. Think of it as an abacus between you and another person moving those pieces of Bitcoin back and forth to each other and multiply this by thousands, even millions in the future of different one-to-one -one pairs across a network, which is the lightning network. The only footprint it has on the Bitcoin Bitcoin historical ledger is the footprint of you creating a channel and locking up that amount of Bitcoin. It is not back on the full Bitcoin ledger until you close that channel and get that Bitcoin back on chain for you. Now, the Lightning Network has been running for a few years now and is getting better and better each day with more tools for, to onboard more and more people. The possibilities of instant settlement with extremely low fees and the ability to hold your funds without a middleman are going to substantially change the internet, media, and the world as we know it. Now, besides getting started opening those channels, there are limitations to the Lightning Network. Number one is you're going to need to have a wallet that's connected to the internet 24 seven. This is called a hot wallet. They're more likely to be attacked than when you're transacting Bitcoin. It's recommended you have a cold wallet where it's offline, it's less likely to be attacked. Second is the complexity of setting up your channels having enough liquidity for the routing liquidity to maintain those channels and be able to make payments. And third is the hardware or computer space, the knowledge to connect to the Lightning Network. Now, there's no need to worry. There's great tools you can utilize to easily join the Lightning Network. If you just wanna get started in sending and receiving payments, all you need to do is use a custodial wallet. They have their own company Lightning Channels, so you don't even have to worry about it. All you need to do is sign up with a username and password. One I recommend is Coinos, they're a Lightning Web Wallet. I have a full tutorial on my channel on how easy it is to use. If you want something a little bit more secure where only you have access to your funds and want to learn a little bit about channel management and opening your own, all while having a Lightning Node in your pocket, I recommend a wallet called Phoenix. All you need to do is send Bitcoin to it, either it's on-chain or the Lightning Network. You do have to trust them to create all the channel creations for you, swapping in and out of Lightning if you choose to do so but it makes it super easy and almost foolproof. I have a full video tutorial on my channel about Phoenix Wallet if you wanna learn how to use it and set it all up yourself. Now, if you wanna completely do this all yourself, create your own Lightning channels, this requires you to run a Bitcoin and Lightning node. This includes installing Bitcoin Core, connecting it to one of the Lightning Network implementations and running it 24 seven. There are easy softwares that can 
help you set it all up that you can turn to. They have all the software built in with step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up, implement all the lightning tools. It's pretty much a plug and play. I recommend something like Start9. They have their own operating system that's free open source to use that you can bring your own hardware and do it yourself, or you can purchase their servers that they have ready installed with Start9. All you gotta do, plug it in and set it up. So that's just a brief overview of the Lightning Network and how to join it. If you like this video, I got more videos on my channel about Bitcoin, other tools and services that make it super easy to use. Let me know if you have any questions by putting them in the comments below. You can visit my website, bitcoinstartingpoint.com where I got all my resources, videos listed in kind of an organized manner. And uh, thanks for watching.